Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be doing my first Linux tutorial, so let's get started. In this video, I'm running Elementary OS, which is pretty much a small fork of Ubuntu, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Elementary Tweaks to be able to customize your uh, Elementary OS installation. So in this video in particular, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can very easily get a Minimize button on Elementary OS. Now, if you open up any window in the operating system, in Elementary OS, you'll see that there's a close button and a full screen button. There is no minimize button. And to minimize, you either have to go back all the way down and click on the icon in the uh, launcher, or you'll have to do your keyboard shortcut for minimize, which is Windows W for me. But you can uh, change that to get a minimize button. Since it's built into the OS, it's just not shown by default. So you'll have to go to this website, which I have, I will have in the description. Uh, it's made by lmelinux.net, and you go slash elementary hyphen tweaks. Again, it will be in the description, so don't worry. Uh, and depending on what version you've, you're on, I'm on the latest one, which is Freya. You just have to type in these three lines of uh, code into the terminal, and it will install the elementary tweaks program. So let's go ahead and open up terminal. You can do that by pressing Windows T. That's the default shortcut. And you're going to go ahead and just copy-paste. Again, this will also be in the description. Uh, go ahead and copy-paste this into Terminal. Uh, and then say Paste Anyway. And go ahead and press Enter. And once you're done with that, uh, go ahead and do Update. And now what the second one will do, Control-C, Control-V, and then Control-V, and then press Enter again. And you'll get some stuff. It'll this one might take a while. The second one will take the longest time because it's going to be updating all your repositories. It's going to be updating everything uh, that you've installed, uh, all the libraries that you've installed, just to make sure everything works. And then lastly, once you've downloaded all the repositories and all the libraries that the program needs, just go ahead and Control V and contr Control C and Control V, copy and paste the last one in. And of course, it says install, so it will go ahead and install Elementary Tweaks. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, uh, and I will answer them. Now, once you have that installed, you're not going to see the app uh, on your app launcher because it's not really an app. It's just a little tweaking thing that you can do. So go ahead and open up your settings, which I already have here, and you should see a new icon, and that is the tweaks icon. You will just have these five, but now you have the tweaks icon, so let's go ahead and go inside. Now, you'll see all kinds of options here. You can do a lot with this uh, tweaks system. But we're going to go ahead and stay in Appearance, which should be the first one under General. And in Appearance, you'll see at the bottom here, Window Controls. By default, it's at Elementary, which you can see right here is Close on the left and Full Screen on the right. You can go ahead and choose anything you want. Windows will give you everything in the order that it is on Windows. So Minimize, Maximize, and Close. Or you can do it yourself by uh, Custom. Or you can just do the minimize button, which is what we want. You can do minimize right and minimize left. I'm going to go ahead and do right. And as you can see, the minimize button is right there. Now, if I go ahead and click on it, it will minimize. And that works on any folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in File Explorer. However, Chrome is weird. Chrome doesn't do that unless you right-click and use System Title Bar, in which case Chrome will also do that. So, uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, it was just a quick tutorial on how to get uh, the minimize button on every single window in elementary OS and as you can see it even applies to terminal that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you want more Linux tutorials be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video